All right, so for the dirt, make sure I've got the fill layer selected. I'm going to go to Smart Masks, and we'll just grab sand. See how that one looks. So a little bit on the intense side visually, but I kind of like it a little bit. So I'm going to just walk it back a little bit. So we still have that that thing going on there, but it's just it's just dialed back a little bit. So at this point, I think I'm going to hop back over to my paint, and we will make this a little bit shinier, just to get a little bit more contrast between the areas that are oily and dirty and rusty. I'm going to hop over to the surface variation and go to roughness. And let's just punch this up a little bit too. Eh, maybe not that much. Let's try like 20 maybe. And we'll do 20 on this one too. Just to for that metal to start really kind of having some interesting stuff going on with it. Back to the base color. I'm going to add a paint to the dirt mask. Hop over to uh, brushes. And we'll grab that, uh, where'd it go? Sandpaper. We just sort of break it up there a little bit. Hey, get a little bit of that, that AO feel to it. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, just throw something quick on. I'm going to make a new folder, something quick on this light here. Whoops. Just hit the L key, which does that. All right, so L I G H T. And I'll go ahead and add a mask with color uh, selection. There we are. And in here, we'll go ahead and add a fill, do a fill layer. This is going to be fairly glossy and black for the light. And it's under the dirt, so the dirt is still automatically kind of already showing up. I don't think there's any oil on there. That might be a little bit too glossy. Give it a little metalness and it'll get that kind of like painted metal look to it. All right, so let's hop over to Photoshop for a second. And we'll just take a quick look, uh, quick look at this image. So I have a black background with white text. I'm not using the actual logo of the light, uh, but you certainly can in your own work if you'd like. Um, so I just got some text here, Firelight. You could grab a logo from Google and sort of set this, this up the same way. And it is just saved as a JPEG. So to get that JPEG into Painter, I'm gonna go File, Import Resources, Add Resources, and this thing is called Pistol Light. I guess I save it as a Targa. And we want to go ahead and say this is a texture. That way it'll put it in the texture folder. We can go find it. And uh, I'm only going to import this for the current session. So if I save it, it, it uh, the file, it should not be stored, which is totally fine. So there it is. So this is basically a stencil. And the way we access it is with this button right here. Oh, I need to make a new layer. So new fill. And I'm just going to write light logo on it. And then uh, let's see. We're going to add a black mask. And in the mask, Come over to where it says grayscale, grab our little firelight texture, and you will see that it pops up multiple points around the uh, the scene here. It's basically just repeating. And the amount of space on either side uh, matches the amount of space on either side of the logo times two, basically. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just paint it in like this. So I'm using the default hard brush, so it's nice and uh, nice and tough. And now I'm going to turn the stencil. Well, before I turn the stencil off, the hot key to modify the stencil is the S key. So with the S key, you can see we can we can rotate. I think we can zoom in with the right mouse button. Anyway, so you can do th this kind of stuff if you want. Shift will sort of snap it again. Uh, but if you need your, your little cheat sheet, it'll pop up right down here in the in the corner. So I'm going to go back to the regular menu by, by hitting brush. So we can see now that it says firelight, but it's not white. So if I want to, all I need to do to, to modify how this looks is just go to the regular layer settings. So I can punch it up. I can increase or decrease the shininess of it. With that black in the background, it's a little bit tricky to see. So I'll, I'll make that kind of duller. So we hop back up to the logo. You can change the color if you want, whatever. Like there's, there's a sort of no limit with regard to what you can do. You can kind of, if you want to give it a little bit of height, like a little embossing. So all kinds of cool stuff. And I just basically painted it into the logo. Now you can also paint into an empty layer. Same idea. I'll go ahead and we'll hop back over. Grab Firelight. But when you do that, you're going to run into an issue, which is that the the background of the image will actually show up in your empty layer. So uh, better to do it into the, into the mask. Go ahead and delete that. We'll make this white ish. Go ahead and set this height back down to zero. And I'm going to bump the roughness of the actual light up a little bit more. All right, and uh, run a little bit short on time, so I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, tackle that next, uh, the, the lens thing in the, in the next video.